In this demonstration, we will show you how to manage your inventory with Dynamics 365 Business Central. To accomplish that, we will walk through five steps, including how to review the aged inventory, review the top selling items report, review and check the inventory and vendor lead time to make sure we're making good buying decisions, enter the purchase invoice and post it, and then show you some new technologies around predicting your inventory needs. Let's begin by reviewing the aged inventory. So here I am on my home page, and I'll scroll down. And I notice that I've got a report here called the aged inventory, and I could drill into items that are over 120 days in my inventory. All right, so these are key areas or metrics that are accessible for me so that one area of concern is in my business is am I managing my investments and are, is my inventory growing going stale? So when I drill into here, I can see all the items uh, and the length and time in which they've been in our inventory. Next, let's go ahead and review the top selling items. So I select items. And again, I can see here on the left all the items and what I have in inventory. If I select the reports, I get a number of different reports. I'm looking for the inventory statistics report, which is drilled out here, and it's the top 10 items. So it's nice as I can see all the items in the inventory, but as again, the top 10, we certainly have the market on the Athens desk, the Atlanta whiteboard, and the conference tables. Good to know, because providing that information is important and essential to know how do I manage my inventory. Next, let me see if I have enough. Do I need to think about checking inventory? And also, if I do, what's the lead time and the cost so I have better uh, margins for my business? So in this case here, I want to leverage the powerful search capabilities. So I'll enter in the search, type in purchase advice under the planning reports, and now I can see that my Athens desk, I only have seven on order. I only have 11 in my quantity. That's not a good sign, right? So the built-in capabilities gives me that information. I need to figure out how do we get those in because it's clearly our top selling item. Let's close out of that report. I'm going to go to the vendors. And in this report, I'll select the purchase, the vendor item purchases, and I'll preview that report to determine, hey, of the two vendors that I have, granted the sample data here doesn't give me a lot, but the lead time as well as the average cost, again, if one vendor provides me with more favorable lead time or favorable terms, I can see that from this report. Now I'll go ahead and enter that purchase invoice. So back here into either vendors or I can certainly choose it on the main actions button right there. I'm going to select first up consultants. They seem to be the most responsive for me right now and I'm worried to getting these items back into inventory. So I'll select on that purchase invoice, enter the purchase number or the vendor or invoice number. I could type the item number, make sure those Athens desks, let's get 25 of those in here right away, and I'll post that, and then I've got the posted purchase invoice there. If I drill into the balance, again, you can see that I've got this brand new purchase invoice in the amount of $20,000 for uh, Fabricam. Now, while managing inventory and tracking trends on the top selling items is key, to managing investments and, and certainly managing your cash, Business Central helps organizations to even better manage products and services to avoid any issues. And I'm going to show you that using some technology around artificial intelligence and using something called with Cortana intelligence to forecast my needs. So I'm going to come back into the items. And you'll notice here on the right hand side, I have this forecast app, right? So viewing, reviewing my uh, vendor or inventory items, you see that the app is embedded in the list page. And I can toggle between the sales forecast, which I see here, right? So this is the sales that I have, and pretty strong. Now, if I select the inventory forecast, it tells me a much different story. And in fact, I'm concerned because in two months, if we don't take action, based on the current inventory demands, we'll be short and I'll need to create uh, invoice and supply, right? So again, thinking about the productivity gains, I'd have to probably find where I go do purchase invoices, or I could just simply stay right here in the forecast app, 
and I can either create the purchase invoice or a purchase order. And so I'm in the purchase invoice and the application's telling me that I've run out of stock in some other items. And again, thinking about how do I take advantage of terms, I'll go ahead and say, yeah, let's go ahead and add those additional items. Maybe I get some better discounts, save on shipping, and I can go ahead and post that. So again, I walk through that scenario, how to manage our inventory, and the benefits are clear in showing you how to make much better decisions, but I think even more so, gaining greater insight into inventory levels and demands.